Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to yet another video on my channel. I, I haven't uploaded it in a while because I've been doing my own things outside of doing YouTube. Um, but a lot of you guys have asked me for an updated version of how to fix the Roblox low memory, low memory warning or the storage issue. So I'm going to be telling you guys what to do and how to fix it as well as some Roblox official um, helpers or help guides to help you guys fix it. So let's get on with the video. The first thing I showed you guys to do is to just offload the app or you guys can just uh, lower your graphics in the game. That's what I explained in my old video. But there is a few more ways to actually um, fix this issue more so hopefully it doesn't occur anymore. The first being you can you guys can offload your app. So any app you don't use, you guys can delete if you choose to, or you can just um, offload the app completely. So until you click the app again, it won't use any background um, data or storage or whatever you guys are using. For me, it's a laptop, and um, so it will be megabits or data or gigabits for me. Um, but then I go onto here and yeah, a lot of people have been saying I got a little more memory warning. Did it decide to have my gallery and have my safe videos? I got a little support, but automatically to response, I don't know what to do. So that is why I'm making this video too. The Roblox official thing is what is low uh, memory error code 292. You leave the experience and return to the home page, or you can keep playing, but the experience will crash. That's what happened to me. I was on mobile at the time, but then I got a laptop and it hasn't happened since. But uh, um, they also said, what can I do if this happens frequently? And you guys can close unused apps in the background, reduce the graphics quality, or check out the article, which I will link in the comments. Choose a less graphics intensive experience, which doesn't really help if you're trying to play a game you really like, or use a more power, uh, powerful device. This one doesn't work because no matter what you do, it will show up again. But then you guys can do um, the offload thing, and I will get up how to offload an app right now. Okay, so I found how to offload the apps on things. There is two images here from OXC Daily or three. Uh, so the first thing you do is you need to go to General and iPad Storage, and then you switch to this. I will also have these in the description, the whole link. You um, can click any app you want, like it, it, this dude is choosing Brave Guardians, and you guys can offload the app if you don't use it. So that is pretty much what happens for all of this. It says, Offload and break gardens will delete the app but keep its documents and data. So when you offload an app, it will delete its data. Um, it will keep its data but it will delete the actual app. So the next time you download it, you will have all of your data. So if you do offload apps, you won't have to worry about losing any storage or data or anything at all. So hopefully this does help. I, that's pretty much all I have for you for iPad, for Apple or um Android, it should be the same. Just go to general, then click on app, and it should let you offload. But if it doesn't, I'll make another video for how to do that on Android. For PC, I don't see anybody having issues on PC, but it's mainly just iPads and iPhones and normal Android phones. So hopefully, this did help. If you guys did find this video interesting or um, helpful in any way, please do feel free to like and subscribe. As always, I've been Proxy Leaks, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!